Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Proverbs chapter 6, these six things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to God. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, and then our subject for today, a heart that devises wicked plans. When the Bible's talking about the heart, it's not really talking about the organ that pumps the blood, that beats. It's talking about the seat of emotion. It's talking about the soul. It's talking about the brain. It's talking about the spirit within us that uh, decides what we believe. And as a basis of deciding what we believe, our beliefs will uh, take care of our actions. We're going to act according to our beliefs. And so he said, here's, here's this heart that devises wicked plans. In Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23, listen to what the Bible says. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. Be careful what you put in your heart, because what you put in is going to determine what comes out, how you act how you believe, the things that you do and the things that you refuse to do. And so keep, the idea of keeping is preserve it. Be careful. I've shared some stories over the course of time about my grandmother and she had a fruit closet. We could play anywhere in her home that she really didn't want us being behind the curtain uh, in her fruit closet. Uh, those things were precious. They, meant, they were the difference between eating in the winter and not eating in the winter. She would work all summer on the garden. She would weed it. She would plant it, weed it. Uh, she would <clears throat> hoe it. She would uh, water it. She would cultivate it. She would pick it. She would uh, peel it, boil it, whatever needed to be done, shell it. And then she would put it in those jars and it would be kept sealed for good. Uh, for the summertime use. And so the idea of keeping a heart, uh, keep your heart, protect your heart. How do we do this? The idea of God hating a heart that devises wicked plans. The word devise there means to plan. It means that we are so focused upon what we are planning that we're planning it by every little detail, very specifically, that's the word devise, and the Lord hates the heart that devises wicked plans. The word wicked is evil. It literally means to follow after the plans of Satan, of the devil, of our enemy. You know, he wants to woo us to himself. He wants to tell us that if we will just forget about God, forget about living a righteous life before God, forget about Jesus, you don't even need to believe in them, the enemy would tell us. And if we follow him, that everything would be more fun. Uh, we would be accepted by other people. We would be popular. We would have all the things that we need. But we must remember what John chapter 8 says. He is the liar and father of all lies. He cannot come through with what he promises because he has no resources to do that. He can't tell the truth. He can only tell lies. And so... Uh, the idea of devising or planning very specifically, that's the focus of what we're doing. That's what we're about at that moment of our life. Evil plans. And there's an answer for that. There's a cure for that. We need to take our focus, that idea of planning, that idea of devising evil plans. We need to take our focus, get it off of ourselves. We need to take the focus and get it off of this world and we need to place our focus upon God, the source of life, the sustainer of life, the one who has so much grace that he loves us in spite of all of our failures and all of our sins. So much so that the Bible says he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, that whosoever believes in him would not perish, but have everlasting life, a heart that is so focused, the seat of your emotions, that which makes the decisions about what you're going to believe and what you're going to do, if that heart, that soul, would just be so focused upon that which is good, the truth, God, 
it will always lead us in the right way. And that is the idea of keeping our heart because the issues of life springs forth from the heart. And so let me encourage you today. Would you take your focus? Would you get it off your troubles? Would you get it off your trials? Would you get it off all the negative around us today? And if you'll just take your focus and, and refocus on God, the one who is all-powerful, all-able, the one who is everywhere present, the one that is all-knowing, he knows our, our deepest emotions, he knows our most inward parts. A heart that devises wicked plans is an abomination to the Lord. And it's because we're focusing on the wrong thing. But if we'll take our eyes off ourselves and the world and all the other things around us and put them on God, His Word, the truth, the timeless eternal truth, it will change our lives for the better. So keep your heart focused upon God. Father, thank You today for Your love. I pray for those who may be out there listening to Your Word today here on this uh, recording. And I pray, Father, that if maybe they've had a bad start to a day, maybe the whole day has been really rotten, and they are just focusing on the negative and on the bad, help them to be drawn to you, to your love, to your grace, to your word in the Bible. And Lord, may they focus on you and see what a difference it can make in their lives today. Your grace is sufficient to see us through all the thorns of the flesh that this world has to offer. And so, Father, encourage someone today with your word. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I pray you'll have a great day in the Lord.